Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aries. Aries, this is your weekly general reading for the 8th through the 14th of July, 2019. I'm using the Psychic Tarot, and we have Emotional Withdrawal coming up here. Right, Aries. I'm also using the Energy Oracle, and I will be using the traditional Tarot for this week's messages, and I will be pulling at the end of your reading, the Universe Has Your Back Oracle card. All right, we have Envy coming up here. Let's see what's going on, Aries. All right, Spirit, what does Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know this week? 8th through the 14th, Spirit, July. Thank you, Spirit. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, Spirit. You're ready. All right, Aries. Situation of the week. We have the Nine of Swords. crossing you is the sun in your foundation is the queen of pentacles recent past energy page of pentacles crowning you the hermit new circumstance nine of pentacles In the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Five of Swords. Wow. You have one, two, three three nines in this reading so nine 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 may mean something very significant to some of you that may mean something that's a sign of some type this is a reading about how good you are doing aries and that that's what's i'm just going to be frank with you that's what's crazy here Someone around you is really, really putting your emotions and your mental state of mind through the ringer here. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at your major energies. Now, we have emotional withdrawal here. You also have the Hermit. And you have the uh, Nine of Swords. Whatever this emotional withdrawal has to do with, it has to do with somebody maybe wearing a false mask, being jealous of you. Somebody could be speaking stuff about you or, or saying, telling lies about you, I feel like. Possibly at the workplace. Because of all of these pentacles but it's lies this could be someone that you have been in a relationship with as well maybe there was a breakup and they went they walked away and they're being really nasty
there's conflict here, conflicting in interests, arguments, disagreements. I feel like you may have been in an argument with someone. Now, whether this has to do with someone you work with, a family member, or somebody that you were in a relationship with. They said some pretty bad things. I feel like they walked away with a uh, hollow victory here. And you know, sometimes when arguments and things get heated, people say things and then we say, well, I didn't mean to say that. It doesn't matter once you've said it, it's done, right? It's that type of energy I'm getting here. I feel the sadness, the anxiety. It, it's, it's left you feeling like you want to withdraw and not be around anyone. I feel like some feelings really, really got hurt here. Situation of the week. We have the Nine of Swords. This is... This is overwhelmed by your feelings. This is worry. You know, this is sleepless night stress. Anxiety right there at its finest. Now what's interesting is you have the sun here. Energy of Leo. This is crossing you. I see this as a challenge in two separate ways. For some of you, this was an argument or disagreement with a child. Okay? Maybe over money. And they may have spoke out really, really mean to you. Okay? For others of you, Spirit wants you to know this is your time to shine, Aries. You have the creativity. You have the success. That could be why this jealousy or this enviness is here. People want what you have. So they're mean. Or they say things that are just rotten. This is all about clarity and truth. This is discovering the truth of a situation for what it really is as well. Could be that's what's causing this anxiety. But Spirit wants you to know you've worked hard to get to where you're at. It's not your fault that maybe you're doing better than others or you have more than others. That's not your fault. That's not your problem. We each have a will to go after our dreams, to do what it is that we want to do to prosper and have financial stability and security. And if we choose not to, that's perfectly fine. But that doesn't mean that we get jealous over others or we attack people because they're doing well. That's exactly what I'm getting from this reading. I'm sorry. This is getting me revved up a little bit because it's just not nice. You know, this is, you know, you're, you're, it's your time to shine, Aries. And don't be, don't feel bad or uh, feel like you cannot let your light shine or your creativity be seen because uh, it's too painful for others because they're not where you're at. They're not where you're at because they haven't put the work in yet. See? All right. This is in your foundation. This is what's driving you this week. Moving you forward. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Queen of Pentacles. This is a very practical energy. Down to earth. You know, this is a very... This is a nurturing energy as well. But I feel like with this in your foundation what's moving you what's driving you this could be your work your stability your security now for others of you you could be a mother or a father all right and that's that's what's driving you this week you know that that's why i feel this could have to do with a child or not a child but one that's grown 
one that's always, you know, coming and asking for money. Maybe you're paying their bills, their rent, you know, etc. Now, for others of you, this definitely could be a envir work environment situation. And you're secure in your job. You have stability and security. But you feel like you have to emotionally withdraw from others because they're, you know, wearing a false mask. Maybe they're talking about you or maybe they're just, you know, causing you a lot of BS, nonsense. Now, we have the Page of Pentacles coming up here in your recent past energy, Aries. This is, again, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. A, you know, again, a practical approach. This is you being very realistic. This is you using concentrated effort with focus and, in order to progress, okay? You've planted the seeds, and I feel that it's grown. You've nurtured it, and there's some type of financial gain that may be starting to come back to you. This could have been with a project, a new job, maybe even starting a business. For some of you, this could have been a message coming in that maybe you have made it a, an investment in something um, and you're starting to see financial gain coming back to you, material manifestations. This is a very positive energy. This is mirroring the Nine of Pentacles as well as the new circumstance. So I feel like whatever this Page of Pentacles was in your recent past, it's a very positive move for you. Now we have the Hermit crowning you. All right, This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is the energy of Virgo right here. This is that emotional withdrawal type energy. But what I like about the Hermit showing up here even though you have emotionally withdrawn yourself from a situation or a person, you're gaining some type of spiritual enlightenment or figuring out which direction maybe to solve a problem or take care of a situation that, that got out of hand, okay? You know, the, the hermit also represents a sense of inner peace and being patient with yourself as well. But this is you taking time out of introspection, going into hermit mode, and tapping into your well of wisdom that you hold within yourself. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. Love it. Nine of Pentacles is all about accomplishment, independence, being self-reliant. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Very positive energy right here. Aries, I'm getting you work so hard for what it is that you've achieved. Some people just cannot handle it because they, they're slackers or, <coughs> excuse me, Maybe they, they don't want to put in the work to, to get to where you're at. And that causes jealousy and envy. Maybe people to cause arguments and disagreements in the workplace or maybe at home. You will come out of this emotional withdrawal though. And you're, you're going to... Figure out which direction or how you're going to... You have some type of spiritual enlightenment here. How you're going to handle the situation. You're going to turn this around here. This anxiety and this overwhelmed by your emotions. And you're going to allow your light to shine. You're going to continue on with your success and your creativity. Working hard with what it is that you do with this Queen of Pentacles energies that bring in stability and security in your life. You're practical. You've made investments. You've put your time in. Now I feel that things are coming back to you to where you're starting to see it manifest. Go into hermit mode and you're going to gain the spiritual enlightenment of which direction to go. You're going to be guided by that light. 
See that star in that lantern? You have independence, stability, and security. Don't let others bring you down. Because that's what they're wanting to do. Awesome. My vibes speak louder than my words. My vibes speak louder than my words. All right. Aries, please let me know what's going on here. Leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are affecting you in your situation. I wish you the best of luck. And remember, people are jealous because when people get jealous over you, that means you're doing something they want to be doing. Remember that. All right, Aries. I love you. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Aries.